Snobby Snail and Smarty Snake. Snobby Snail and Smarty Snake. Grab Grabbers and Snobby Snail are friends. Snobby Snail lives in a small hole in an old tree. Grab Grab has many friends. Grab Grab always smiles to all the animals. All the animals smile at Grab Grab when they see him. Snobby Snail does not have many friends. Snobby Snail is a snob. He does not like to smile to the other animals. Snobby Snail is proud of his shiny shell. He cleans his shell every day. The shell shines in the sun. One cold day, Snobby Snail sees Drab Crab playing with Smarty Snake. Snobby Snail is mad. He does not like to share Drab Crab with Smarty Snake. Snobby Snail goes home to his hole in the old tree. Snobby Snail feels sad. He cries and sniffs in his dark hole. Snobby Snail feels cold. He makes a small fire to keep the cold away. Soon Snobby Snail falls asleep. The tree is old and dry. The small fire burns on, on and on. The small fire grows and grows. Oh no, the tree is on fire. Snobby Snail is asleep. He does not smell the smoke. He does not feel the heat. From far, Smarty Snake smells the smoke. But where is the fire? Smarty Snake is smart. Smarty Snake sniffs here and there. He follows the smell of the smoke. Smarty Snake ends up at the tree. He sees smoke in the tree. The fire must be in the tree. Smarty Snake sneaks into the hole. He sees Snobby Snail sleeping in the hole. He calls to Snobby Snail, Wake up! Wake up! We must get out of the hole now. We must get out of the fire. Snobby Snail wakes up. He sees the fire. He sees Smarty Snake. Smarty Snake says, Get on my back. We must get away from the fire. Smarty Snake and Snobby Snail are safe at last. Thank you for helping me, Snobby Snail says. You are welcome, Snobby Snail. We must always help our friends, Smarty Snake says. Snobby Snail feels ashamed. He knows that it is good to have friends who help each other. Snobby Snail will not be a snob anymore.